If you're looking for instant and cheap Madden Ultimate Team coins, make sure to check out MobileMaddenCoins.com and use the discount code RBT for 10% off your purchase. Yo, what is going on everybody? This is Samuel Brown, aka RBT, coming at you with another episode of the Tennessee Titans franchise mode here on Madden 17. And guys, I know I messed up in the last episode. I had started at the regular season and I got that all fixed. We are now at the beginning of the preseason. I already made the Doyle Green Beckham trade. So we are right back to where we were at the end of last episode. We're going to start off this episode by trying to do a bunch of deals that you guys left in the comment section below. I went through all like 500 comments and tried to write down. I have a list right here in front of me. Some of the most thumbed up comments in the comment section when it came to making free agency signings, when it came to making trades. I put them all down here on a list and I'm going to try my best to get some of these deals done in this episode. After that, we're going to play the first preseason game against the San Diego Chargers and see how that goes. And if at the end of this episode, I have not made deals that you guys want to see or think I should do, let me know in the comments below what deals you want to see me try to make in the next episode, whether it be free agency signings, whether it be trades, just let me know who I should go after in the comment section below. And guys, if we can get this video to 1,000 likes, the next episode will come out 100% on Monday. I'm so excited for this, guys. First bit of business we do have to cover is some of the changes we did make to the depth chart via the recommendations from you guys in the comment section of the last video. First of all, 100%, Sharp is going to be in the team. He's going to make the team 100%. The guy's been one of the best receivers for the Titans in the preseason season so far and no matter where he plays he is going to be in the team so he's a six receiver right now and might work his way up and at tight end we did not do anything to the tight end position but what we did do is put Dennis Kelly at the left guard position the guy that we did get from the Dorio Green Beckham trade now he's not going to be completely useless unless we make some trades at left guard or a signing he's going to be the starting left guard as of right now but that's up to you guys whether we do trade or try to sign a left guard and the rest of the offensive line has stayed the same the other big move that we did make was put Kevin Dodd at the right end position. He's a 79 overall right end. He was a Bolivia. He is a right outside linebacker with his position in Madden 17, but is a really good right end and better than Carl Klug at the right end position. So you guys told me to start him at right end, and that's what I'm going to do. He is a rookie, so he should be very good for the remainder of the series. Another thing you guys had to do was have Daquan Jones as one of the starting defensive tackles in 4-3 formations. Not sure yet if I should run a 3-4, a base 3-4, or a base 4-3 defense. Let me know in the comments below what you think I should do with the personnel that I do have in the team. When it comes to linebackers, I believe everything I did keep exactly the same when it came to the linebackers. I think the rest of the team is the same as well. So we do have some cuts we have to make. We have some trades I'm going to try to make happen. And then I'm going to try to sign a couple free agents that you guys recommended in the comments section below. So the first thing we're going to do is cut two players that we do have to cut this week. Bo Brinkley, we do not need him. He's a 46 overall, if that's correct. I'm guessing it's correct. And we are going to cut him. We already have really good tight ends in our team, so we are going to cut him. And the second guy we are going to cut is going to be, let's go with Kalen Reed. We have another cornerback right here we should cut or could cut, but we already have enough cornerbacks and they're not really good. And as it says right here, we have depth at cornerback. We're probably going to try to trade for another cornerback. So he's going to be cut. So the first thing we are going to do is sign a backup quarterback. I'm not really liking Matt Castle. And what we're going to do is go by who you guys recommended in the comments. And I had too many comments that said to sign Michael Vick. Nobody really wanted to see Johnny Manziel. And if you still maybe want to see me sign him and try to battle out that backup quarterback spot, let me know in the comments below. But as of right now, guys, we are going to sign Mike Vick. And there was another comment talking about a quarterback that got the most thumbs up on the video. And we're actually going to be going after that quarterback as well. And maybe that will be the battle for the backup quarterback position. You'll see who that is in just a second. But here, we are going to sign Michael Vick. Signed to active roster. A one-year deal. $2.5 million for his contract. And he has been signed to the Tennessee Titans. So, Michael Vick, guys is now a Tennessee Titan. And as you see now, he is the backup quarterback, but now there's another quarterback everybody wanted to see me bring in that will battle him out for the backup quarterback spot. And that is Brett Hundley. Everybody wanted to see me try to bring in Brett Hundley, and I am gonna try to bring him in to the team. We're gonna try to work around and make some trades and see what the Packers have to say. And they are not interested in Dexter McCluster because there's a couple guys that I wouldn't mind trading on. And one of them are two running backs, and that's Antonio Andrews and Dexter McCluster. So maybe I just take out Dexter McCluster and offer Antonio Andrews. And they're very close to wanting this deal. So maybe I just add in like a seventh round draft pick. So I'm going to try Antonio Andrews and a seventh round draft pick. And the deal was accepted. 
Brett Hundley is now a Tennessee Titan, which means now that we probably need to bring in another running back and let me know who I should bring in in the comment section below. And now when it comes to the cornerback position, everybody wanted to see me try to get a keep to lead. They said he'd be very cheap to get. Some people said they offered like a fifth round draft pick and got him last year. We need a cornerback. So let's see if we can, in fact, get a keep to leave. They need a quarterback. We're going to offer Matt Castle in the deal, which they probably don't want. And we're going to send in a draft pick as well. Let's go with the fourth round draft pick and see if they accept this. They need a quarterback. We're going to send in the draft pick. And they're not really that interested. I'm not a big fan of Ray Wilson. And we're going to be getting a cornerback back. We already have good depth. We just need better players. And the trade offer was accepted. A third round draft pick, Matt Castle, and Ray Wilson. So no positions that really hurt us. Just basically a third round draft pick that we traded for Aqib Tlaib and two players that basically are just cut from the team that really help our numbers. We're bringing in a talented veteran at the cornerback position. So guys, our biggest need definitely got filled right there. And guys, we are more than likely going to be trading Dexter McCluster. So we need a better kick and punt returner. And also, we could use another veteran at the wide receiver position. So I think I am going to try to sign Devin Hester to a one-year deal. And he has been signed to a one-year deal to play at the kick and punt returner position. And I, like I said, am going to try to trade Dexter McCluster. And another thing I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below, what player should I be trying to trade out and get some value for, whether it be trading for a player or be trading for a draft pick? Because, for example, here we have a lot of wide receivers. I just signed Devin Hester, not necessarily to play as a wide receiver, but to be a good kick and punt returner. And the guy I'm looking at right now looks like the odd man out is going to be Harry Douglas. He's a veteran guy. He came in last year. He kind of got a big downgrade to a 73 overall. We have some young receivers. We have Sharp, Justin Hunter. We already have our veteran and Andre Johnson. So I don't think Harry Douglas is a big need. So should I try trading him away? Because we are going to try to get a better wide receiver too. So we already have a lot of receivers and we need to trade one. So maybe Harry Douglas is the move. And like I said, as you see, Devin Hester is going to be our kick and punt returner. He's a 93 overall kick returner and a 92 overall punt returner. So he does fill a void that we're going to eventually have to fill once we trade Dexter McCluster. And guys, another player that I'm going to try to bring in right now is another cornerback from the Denver Broncos. I had a lot of comments saying I should try to get this cornerback, Bradley Roby. He does not have a big cap hit. He's an 81 overall, still a very, very young cornerback. So I'm going to try my best to work some magic here. Since we don't need two centers, I'm going to try to trade Swinky. They need a quarterback. We already traded them a quarterback, but they can take another one in Alex Taney. Dexter McCluster trying to get his cap hit off my book. And this would be a good trade right here as they are not interested. What can we do? Maybe we can take out Alex Taney and put in a kind of low draft pick. Maybe they'll be interested in that. Or maybe like a right end or something that I don't necessarily need. Let's see here. Maybe we can bring in a Carl Klug. So they are interested in Carl Klug. Maybe we can take out Dexter McCluster and just offer them the two positions that they do in fact want. Because we are playing Kevin Dodd at the right end position. Maybe we'll need to bring in another right end if this trade does go through. Maybe a low overall to back them up. But submit this trade offer. And it was accepted. Bradley Roby is coming to the Tennessee Titans, man. That didn't hurt our cap whatsoever. It actually helped our cap. And that was a pretty good move. And we still have Dexter McCluster that we can use as some trade bait. And just like that, guys, we improve our worst positional unit on the team with that being the cornerback position by bringing in a veteran and a keep to lead and a young cornerback in Bradley Roby who will for sure improve throughout the series. And we still have two veterans at the number three and four cornerback spot. That's going to be very, very vital at that position. Jason McCoy is still a very talented, one of the biggest leaders on this defense. And with that being the case, guys, maybe we can ship out a guy like Bryce McClain. And like I said, guys, now at the right end position, we might need a backup right end. Maybe we go to free agency for that because now we have Kevin Dodd there. We did just trade Carl Klug to get Bradley Roby. And with that said, guys, moving into the plans for the second episode we're back to play this game against the Chargers our first preseason game but there's still some positions I do want to improve and like I said let me know your suggestions in the comment section below who I should go after but the number one thing we're gonna go after in the next episode is a wide receiver and I wrote down some guys on my list that you guys did comment below one of the guys is Randall Cobb he would be very very nice I like Randall Cobb in real life he'll be a nice improvement to the team we're looking necessarily for a number one receiver so we have some young guys, some guys that can grow like a Kendall Wright and such, but he's not really a number one receiver. And some other guys I wrote down, Mike Evans would be sick at wide receiver, but he'd probably cost a lot. And last but not least, I think this would be an awesome trade. And this might be my favorite option, Josh Gordon. He probably wouldn't cost a lot from the Browns, and he's still a beast receiver. 
they don't I don't think they get suspended in the game in this video game for smoking weed which I'm sure he's probably doing right now but he'd be a great number one receiver man probably would cost nothing like I said I think we're done for the corner position but I'm still gonna try to trade away Dexter McCluster and then bring in another running back and if you have any options for that let me know in the comment section below and is any other position in general you think I need a backup or maybe even try to get a starter just list the players you want me to try to get and like I said the ones with the most thumbs up will be the ones I try to go after in the next episode and one thing you guys did tell me to do in the comments is to turn off pre-existing injuries so I am gonna do that we're gonna start at seven minute quarters with the accelerated clock on with the minimum play clock being 15 that's why I'm kind of doing this in specific episodes before we get to the regular season when things really count is because we can adjust this every single week until it's perfect so I want you guys to really pay attention to the gameplay see how things go and let me know if you think I should adjust any of this on a week-to-week -week basis after every episode and also all these for right now these sliders are gonna stay the same but the only thing I saw a lot of people recommend was to turn down the minimum player speed threshold which I am gonna turn down let's I think they said to go to 15 so that's what I'm gonna do I genuinely not real sure what this is gonna do but this is what I saw in the comments let me know how this should be I saw like at least four or five people recommend I turn this down so I'm gonna change it to 15 right now see what that does in the game and with that said guys let's jump into our first game of the preseason against the Chargers Marcus Mariota is gonna start the first team is probably gonna play for the first quarter or so and for the rest of the game we are gonna bring in the backups and see how they play and see how that backup quarterback battle is gonna begin in this first episode Devin Hester's first return with the Tennessee Titans gets out to the 35 yard line so not a bad start to be honest DeMarco Murray's first carry for the Tennessee Titans it's hype boys it is hype DeMarco Murray just runs into about 17 chargers. Marcus Mariota's first pass of the year. He has a receiver open. That's Delaney Walker, the tight end. DeMarco Murray once again finds his way for the first down. Play action pass right here from Mariota. As he's going to get... Oh, God. That could be a pick. No, Andre Johnson. What a throw from Marcus Mariota. I just threw up a prayer. And the veteran Andre Johnson was right there. What, what a freaking throw, man. I thought there's no way. We can look at this replay, like, off balance, running to his left, and I I'm fine with it. First third down of the year. Let's see if we can convert this right here. Let's see, we're going to have Delaney Walker open. No, that almost was a pick. I threw that a little bit too early. Hopefully, I can, in fact, make this field goal. Got to hold it here. A. A again. Oh, that was too early. That was... Oh, my God. I missed a field goal, dude. Is it, was it that bad? Was it that bad that I had to be that far to the right? Third and six, first third down of the year for my defense. As he had a guy wide open, that was my zone. I'm going to try to blitz the whole entire universe right here and get pressure in Phillip Rivers' face. Avery Williamson, he stopped running. He, I, w I was controlling him and he stopped running. I'm going to leave in my first team defense or did it automatically take out my first team defense? Yeah, it automatically did take out my first team defense. So there is a flag after all that so let's see if we can get the stop versus the chargers second team defense come on guys come on nobody's open he throws it to the flats and it is going to be a fourth down which should force a punt right here and they're actually going for a very long field goal we all know i couldn't make this so let's see how this goes fourth down and 10 let's see if they can make this, this has got to be like what a 57 yard field goal Come on, no way. No, 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 He made it. He just absolutely made that. That was a 58-yard field goal. A 58-yard field goal. That would have been good for like 63. It is now time for the Michael Vick era to begin, and now I can tell I need to change some of the numbers because Michael Vick's not about to be 12 on this team. But anyways, can throw this out to the flat right here. That's Harry Douglas, the veteran. D. Henry once again, third down of one. Derrick Henry gets it, has a big hole. Derrick Henry picks up about eight yards right there. You know what? It's time to see how far Michael Vick can throw the ball right here. Let's throw this to the rookie. Sharp. Sharp is nowhere even near that. Third and 11. Let's see if we can, in fact, pick this up. Let's bring Sharp in on a curl route. See if somebody can get open. A is going to be open. A is, I thought he was going to be open. The linebacker backed up at the last second. So now it's going to be fourth down and 11. I'm not playing too good, guys. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, 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 man. Somebody's got to catch him. Catch him, bro. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? We allow a touchdown. It was a bad punt for me. I don't know why it was a bad punt for me. I guess it was bad accuracy. 
and it's 10 to nothing now. We have a third down and 10 after two straight incompletions. It isn't looking too good, but let's see if we can pick this up. We need to score here, but you got to remember, this isn't, the oh God, it's a fumble. It's a fumble. Jack Conklin at least see the first round pick and pick the ball up. Well, we had a guy open, but you got to remember that preseason wins don't mean literally anything, but I mean, obviously you still want to win. What? I mean, what was that? What was that? Come on, make this pick. Oh my god, Antoine Blake. I thought he was about to jump that route and make that pick. Now they're about to take a 17 point lead. Big play, boys. Very freaking big play. Third down to one. Is he going to run the ball up the middle? I really hope he does. I really hope you do. Really hope you do. Really, he didn't. He did not. He's going to scramble when he has a guy open. And that's a 17 to nothing ball game. Well, Michael Vick. Things haven't been going too well for us offensively with you in the game, so we need a big drive right here, definitely. Definitely, definitely. Justin Hunter, break the tackle, man. He gets big hit, but that's the biggest play we've had in the game with Michael Vick so far. We definitely need some points before the half. We had this guy down the seam. That's Harry Douglas, the veteran, with the catch. Well, third down and 10. I want to get some points, and we definitely need to get some yard because, for me, I'm not in field goal range. Definitely am not in field goal range. Devin Hester. Can Michael Vick make that throw? Devin Hester makes the catch on the run. The veteran. Well, third down and 15. This isn't looking too good. Let's see if somehow we can get lucky here. Because I do not want to have to kick the field goal. Because with the field goal, we probably won't make it back in this game. Anthony Vasano, can he make this catch? It hits him right in the freaking hand. Hey. Hey. Can that make it? That makes it. Are you kidding me? Are you honestly kidding me? Just let the time let the timer. Let the timer run out now. They're gonna get a field goal. They're gonna get a field goal. Free freaking field goal before the half. So into the second half now. Third down and two, guys. They're about to score again. Unless we can get the stop. Avery, Avery Williamson with the stop. It was actually three Titans with the stop. Because they're going to have to kick a field goal. But there's just no way we're coming back in this game. Now pay close attention. Brett Hundley is now in the game. Let's see how he plays compared to Michael Vick. And let's see how this goes. Throw the little underneath route to Anthony Vasano. We just, I want to get a touchdown this game. Once again, underneath the Justin Hunter. We'll take anything we can get right now. Never mind, he's going to fumble. But thank God somebody's there to get their recovery. Why is going to be right there? Craig Stevens makes a nice catch to pick up the first down. Well, third down and 10. We really need to pick this up if we want a chance to come back in this game. A nice throw is what it's going to have to take. And Derek, oh my, did he catch that? He caught that. What? Harry Douglas catches the ball. I thought it was a bad throw from Brett Hundley, but I guess he threw it exactly where his receiver could catch it. Oh, God. RB, can he make that throw? And he does. Harry Douglas with the reception down to the 18-yard line. Another good throw. Harry Douglas is having a big game himself. Fourth down and nine. Might as well go for this. No point in kicking the field goal. No real point, that is. And let's just see if somebody can make this catch right here. Sharp. Sharp. Make this catch. No! He bats it down. I thought there was enough space, and that is pretty much going to do it. But not a bad drive, though, from Brett Hundley. We just need to learn how to score once we get into the red zone. Got the ball back after a quick three and out, and let's see if we can quickly score a touchdown. Might just go ahead and try seeing what these receivers can do one-on-one. -on -one depending on what the safeties do. Actually, no, we have a wide open tight end. That's Fasano as he gets past the 50-yard line. Another third down and long, man. We have got to pick this up. Just got to. Anthony Fasano is going to be one-on-one. -on -one. Can he make this? That's actually Craig Stevens, and we get a pick. That's happened way too much in this early game. The stupid bounces in the air like that are just dumb they're just actually dumb not just in this game but in every other game i played so not gonna lie jumped ahead to the next drive they got a field goal i just want to get some points man want to get a touchdown before this first game is over because it'd be pretty unsuccessful if we don't score this first game and anyways here rb is oh i didn't know he was cutting outside god dang it that's my fault that's my fault for not knowing the god dang play i did not know he was about to cut outside i thought he was running a streak route that's another pick for me because I'm an imbecile. So we lose this first game, guys. 26-3. We played pretty bad as a whole. I played bad, and my team played bad, too. I played very bad, especially there at the end of the game. But like I said, preseason games don't really matter at all. Just getting to see some of the team. I think we saw enough from each and every quarterback in that game. So if we look at the stats, I thought Brett Hundley played well. I know his quarterback rating is awful because he did throw two interceptions, but they were both really my fault. And then Michael Vick didn't play too well, man. We didn't get much going offensively when he was in the game, but we can't really tell much from just one game. And Mariota, from what we saw, was pretty good. We didn't get to see much from just one drive. And then rushing, honestly, we didn't get to run the ball a lot. Seven attempts total because we were behind most of the game, so I was trying to throw the ball a lot. And we didn't get much going from Derrick Henry. I tried throwing a lot of screen passes to him, as you'll probably see here. Well, three screen passes, and he got negative 10 yards. But the surprise of this game was Harry Douglas. He had 72 yards. I think he caught every single pass that was attempted to him. 
five receptions and he played pretty good we didn't get any sacks defensively so hopefully that will improve and we just played bad honestly both sides of the football and especially in the kick return game they got 10 points in the kick return game and if it wasn't for that it would have been a 16 to 3 loss which obviously we still would have lost but still would look a lot better than 26 to 3 so all in all a very sloppy first game of the preseason but that's what the preseason's for got to move forward and hopefully play better in next week so as you see right here we do get some xp feedback our defense is an 87 overall aaron wallace a right outside linebacker got the most xp defensively jack conklin apparently had a good game 315 with harry douglas Derek Henry, Marcus Mariota, and Taylor Lewan following him. Nice to see our two young tackles having good games. So with that said, guys, that's going to do it for the second episode of the Tennessee Titans Madden 17 Connected Franchise. It's another big week. We have to play the Panthers. Hopefully, we'll play better than we did in week one of the preseason, and we have to cut four players. And like I said, we're looking to make a couple more moves. A running back, we're looking to get a third running back, that is, and then a number one wide receiver, and maybe more than one wide receiver, I don't know. And anybody else you want to see me bring in, let me know in the comments below, whether it be through a trade, or rather it be through the free agency, literally any player you want to see, and let me know if there's any players on the team you want to see me trade away for maybe a draft pick, or just trade away in general. So with that said, guys, hopefully you did enjoy, and if we can get a thousand likes on today's episode, 100% the next episode will come out on Monday. I'm really enjoying it, so far i know it's been really only one real episode but definitely enjoying the trades and playing and everything like that so hopefully you are enjoying watching it as well so with that said guys be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i will catch you guys next time have a great rest of your day peace